Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the channel. I did not do Candy Burris justice. I had forgot about a another section of the neighborhood talk where they basically were weighing in and people were weighing in in the comment section about Candy was pissing mad with what Marlo had to say about her not helping out the black community enough. And uh, I would be remiss if I didn't put Candy's part in there because I don't I'd be thinking I'm side with one or the other. And quite frankly, I could give a damn about any of them. You know what I'm saying? All of them give me some collectively. And, you know, like I said, I don't, I don't really care nobody down without lifting them up some way. Unless they ain't got nothing to be lifted up on, okay? So I said that to say this. Uh, we're going to go back into the Neighborhood Talk um, uh, article that, yes, that's D. Uh, like, look like Marlo came to do this work, this in them boots. Like, ooh, Candace, if y'all need to get in a little fight, I don't know, Marlo kind of taller than you. And you have to be... <laughs> Swinging your fist going upward, and Marlo would be coming downward. So, I don't know unless you know some karate moves. Uh, uh, and I, I, I wouldn't mess with Marlo really. <laughs> I, I just wouldn't do it, girl. I wouldn't do it with your short self. But anyway, it is what it is. But we're back on Candy Burr. She had to say, she had to get her little spiel on what she wanted to say. Uh, and she actually went and said, Oh, uh, mini Marlo. She's talking about Marlo. She be so fake to me, can explain, exclaim. She gets on my motherfucking nerves. I'm tired of her bullshit. She's fake as fuck. Candy went on to say that she was the one, uh, one of the first housewives to respond to a mass text Marlo sent out asking the ladies to support her, an event that she was hosting. Candy stated she would be there, but probably not anymore. Okay. I'm like, Candy, um... I'm confused again. I'm confused, okay? Because you said you're tired of her bullshit, this, that, and the third. But then, I know you were tired of her bullshit, period, off camera. But you just went on and, because, you know, cameras were rolling. You were basically just agreeing with her and saying, you know, we, well, we got to start from ground one. Uh, you said some things I didn't like and uh, and stuff of that nature. Cam was just really uh, appeasing her in a sense. But I don't think she was really trying to be Marlo's friend either. Then we have Candy also says that before Marlo received her peach, she hooked Marlo up with a different show deal that Marlo didn't follow through with because she was kissing ass with the producers and the cast of Real Housewives of Atlanta. I'm like, Candy, it takes one to know one when it comes to kissing ass. Now, <laughs> we didn't ever see you do it, but you might have did it behind closed doors. Okay, baby? Because they like you too much. It ain't because you be bringing good ideas. It ain't because you have this moral attitude of values, ethics, and, you know, a vision. It ain't because of that. Okay, you just non-confrontational. And you handle business the way it needs to be handled behind closed doors. So you don't go out in the social media realm and put everybody on blast. Let's just keep it real. Let's keep it a buck. Okay, let's just keep it a buck. All right. So you ask us or two. <clears throat> and um, goes on to say, uh, Candace says she's a staple in her community and has paid college tuitions, student loans, and have hosted several food drives. And when Candace did say that, I said, the can ain't going to hell. My money going to go to pay for a college tuition that I don't know who I'm giving the money to. And you just lied. But you just lied. You just lied. We said that I'm sure your money goes where you get tax credit and stuff. So you have to have that information, Candace. So you ain't fooling nobody, girl. You ain't fooling nobody, okay? And that, 
you need to find out. You need to find out who you're supporting out here because you might need them later on down the road. You know, they might be in news media. They might be in entertainment business. You just don't know because you get older. Why you got these young Thundercats out here just getting out of high school going into college. Okay, I'm saying, girl, you need them to help you stay alive in the industry is what I'm saying, Ken. So uh -uh, you need to know these people you put into school. And Papuas is kept alive. I'm speak it out. Girl, you want to pay some of my uh, master degrees? <laughs> You want to pay some of my uh, school tuition? Because I don't want to pay nothing. I'm in the human service field, and we shouldn't be paying jack. Okay, so then let me know. Get on down in the comments and tell me you'll, you'll pay my uh, master's degree program out, please. Please. All right. But anyway, that was just my plea to Candy. Anybody want to send it to her? I'm for real. I'm for real. My love is very serious. Oh, okay. So how are you? But anyway. Um, yeah, Ken says you paying out uh, tuition, college loans to, for students she didn't even know. Okay, we know she does the candy care food drive and all that stuff. Good, 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 Candy. Candy says she prides herself on building her business in the heart of black communities. Now, we said that on the last video that we need you to up that grade from the seven twenty five or even nine dollars. We need to go a little higher. Twelve, thirteen dollars is in the fair market. We need you to uh be working with can 12 13 hours an hour we need to be paying your staff maybe they'll act a little bit better over there at the old game and uh try to keep inspections roll but you know you want to still pay that 725 you're gonna get shitty service all the time uh let me see what else she said um uh, when asked if we knew what marlo was doing we could only pause for a brief second Silence. So I'm just saying crickets. Um, uh, Candy, when you turn it's crickets, girl, that's all you hear is crickets in the nighttime. <laughs> and then she goes on to say, uh, she do more than anyone on the show. Now, like Candy, you generalize, you generalize, baby. We can't generalize. We don't know what Kenya Moore do. We don't know what your Ray uh Whitfield do. We don't know what Juice Adore do, and you might be good. We might get it right on Juice Adore, but it just is what it is. But uh, Candy went for everybody. She, I'm like, God damn, Marlo got you out of your feelings, got you into your feelings, Candy, like that. But you were just hollering out, saying all your tea that you wanted to say, but you don't, you hold it back. See, this is the Candy we need to see. Candy that was going off on the red carpet, having that interview with uh, Yes, That's D from Neighborhood Talk. That's when we need you to come off in uh, the show when we're rolling tapes and stuff. Okay, you ain't gonna mess up your brand. Just all you put your hands on nobody can. Just all you put your hands on nobody. Because if somebody's embarking and infringing on your inner space, you gotta get them together. You gotta cut them down. Okay, you gotta, you gotta hit them in the throat with words. Now, not, the, not, not the, uh, the chin shake. No, 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 not that. You gotta be very spicy and know how to shit shit down. Okay? And I know you know because you just showed it. You just displayed it. Just talking to this lady. But we need you to say that to the interviewer, Candy. We need you to be showing and proving that same energy, that same mentality, minus the crackling of the voice and the throat finna go into a cry mode. We don't need that shit now, Candy. We don't need that. All right? We need you to show up, show out, and stand firm in what you believe in. We don't need no cracking of the voice like you finna break down and then we start seeing tears, you know, the water start forming in your eyes and shit. And I was like, that, that game over, game over, shit. Game over when you start doing all that. Cause it, it, it doesn't warrant all of that. We don't need that type of attention. We need you to be a like, pledge of allegiance stance, going into the battle, going into the war. The only thing you see is, you know, coming out a winner. Like you always say, you're competitive. Yeah, you know, it, it just is what it is, girl. It just is what it is. I bet Mama Joy don't cry. She's probably look at you like you crazy. Like, I know you ain't finna well up no tears. When you were lured, you're going to get that ass. You know what I'm saying? Because you did something you had a bit to do. But anyway, then we go on into uh, some of the commentary or some of the people uh, that commented under uh, the neighborhood, neighborhood talk. All of them was pretty much, the whole house was really on point when they saying, when you got Candy pissed off, she started having that crackle in her throat. They were can everybody know you as a crybaby. You know what I'm saying? You don't want that kind of... You know, that that notoriety being a crybaby and stuff. Then you got you threw Kenya under the bus. 
talking about she don't do enough for the community. You the only one out of all the group that be doing the most. I'm like, well, she can't if we would never know if you don't tell them. You got to show and tell. Show and prove. Go on and front your horn, honey. Toot your own horn. Who going to toot it if you don't? Okay? Uh, yeah, show us, show us, show us, can and shit. Don't be holding everything in the dark. If it's good, it's from good intent, you show it, baby, show it. Uh, let me say, somebody said, you know when that voice gets a shake and she pissed. Oh, Lord. I don't know the whole story, but I could tell Candy was uncomfortable. I hate when people act like they're our friends. Then behind backs, they flick stuff in interviews or gas up the situation. Candy keep being positive and beautiful. Uh, that was from Lyric Anderson. I think she's a uh, artist, a music artist. Yeah, but like, uh-uh, I'm going to be telling Candy, uh, uh, just do the positive thing. Uh, sometimes you have to get ratchet. Hell, in the Bible, the Lord had to go to war. You know what I'm saying? He had to go to war with Pharaoh. Y'all remember that? And he's the sweetest thing by, uh, with apple pie and cream on the top. You see what I'm saying? So, no, sometimes you have to get ugly. You got to get ugly with folks. I ain't saying put your hands on nobody because that's a, that's a uh, some jail time. <laughs> For some reason, I don't think Candy would last 10 minutes in a jail cell, okay? Most people would, including myself. Uh, But, yeah, we need Candy to be who she is off camera. Like, she's rolling. She need to be the same way. Somebody friend on her, she get them straight. They're like the whole situation with... um. What her name was? Sheree. And Sheree was getting on Candy about going around telling everybody. Uh, business that, you know, uh, Drew's assistant was uh, telling her stuff that Sheree don't pay her bills and this and third. She said, well, you told everybody, but you didn't come tell me. You, I thought we were close like that. So you had a rapport of you coming to me telling me what somebody don't say it about me and my situation. I don't think Candy could say, well, yeah, you're right. But it's like Candy had like, like she going to get me. Uh, nasty with her, so she had that facial expression going on. But she said, "Yeah, you right. Like you can't say nothing more than that, can you? You can't say more than that, girl." So I know she didn't want to go to bats with Sheree either, but cause she'll get she'll get mutilated, she'll get mutilated. Cause she ain't used to getting off on folks. She used to keeping the shit, uh, you know, off camera or telling her close girlfriends like Rashida or Tiny, you know, what's going on. Instead of her just going around getting a person straight. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. You see how she looking? But Candy, she can't play poker. You see how she looking? She look very uncomfortable. And like somebody done got on her ass. And she's hoping they don't take it further. Which Sheree should have taken a little further. So we can see what we're working with with Candy. Because Candy, like I said, she does throw stones. And then she try to hide her hand. But in this situation, she couldn't hide her hand no more. She had to just... Humble down, be humble, say, yep, yeah, you caught me this time, damn. You know what I'm saying? But, ah, candy, 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 girl. Uh, let's see who else is taking up for you and not taking up for you in the stream of comments about the article that was written. One person said they need to stop trying, they need to stop trying to play candy. Um, Candy really do housewives for fun, let's be honest here. Now, Candy Burns be doing it for the money, honey. Candy ain't doing shit just because it's going to give her free publicity that she's an outstanding patron in the black community or she's going to get paid royally. You see what I'm saying? Cause I don't know too many people that do things at the spur of the moment. You know what I'm saying? Because they feel like it. Maybe once in a blue moon. But to be on an ongoing basis, now nah, because it, all this stuff can do be doing in the community, it's a tax write-off. You see what I'm saying? It's, it's a tax write-off. So she gets the money back uh, tenfold. Uh, we got one person said, uh, for sure, she for sure getting, wait a minute, she for sure getting on Candy's nerves. It's all in her face and all in her tone. Marla better stop while she's ahead. Got a peach this season, doing the absolute most. But see, that's the whole thing about reality TV. Just as long as you're not uh, putting your hands on somebody. Reality TV is supposed to be played with a lot of dramatization. Okay? If everybody was hunky-dory, they were singing kumbaya and all this other stuff, ain't nobody gonna watch that. So the ratings have to be full of foolishness, suckery, fraudulent, factitious. Okay? Fakery. I got fired out of that that time. Okay, but before else, it has to have that element for people to be drawn to it. Now, they may not agree, and they may disagree with what 
the character or the uh, the team that uh, the show that you're watching, they may not actually believe in what they're doing. And then sometimes they may do. But if they weren't acting out of character, out of their normal routine, we wouldn't watch it. You see what I'm saying? Because Candy, you know, she's that coaster. She just on, um, uh, what do you call it, autopilot. Uh, other thing that was new this season that I'm saying is she introduced us to the color, was it the color man play? And she got her hands kind of uh, involved with the back scenes of production and stuff. So, you know, she's showing improvement. I've always said Candy is in the back on anything. The girl know how to write music. She know how to produce music. She, um, she She's in her element. And she would make so much more money being in the back, not being shown. So Candy haven't really had that spotlight as a solo anything. So she's enjoying that realm of possibilities. But her money is where she's missing out. Uh, and she's getting back into it. And we may not see her in the forefront anymore. Because, see, she done, she done did enough to show us, you know, now, nah, baby, you're just an addition. Where your skills, where your uh, base part, where you need to be is behind the scenes. Because you're a good thinker. You're a good innovator. You're a good, uh, you know, you know what you're doing in that lane. So don't keep saying in this lane that's not really making you look good and people don't like you they like your uh personality but they don't like you because you don't give nothing to the dramatization see what i'm saying but candy is kind of private there she don't tell all her business and if she got out in the street and she can't a pr people can't control the situation then you know they got to like snuff it out by doing something else you know what i'm saying to take us all what Todd may be doing or what Mama Joyce may be doing because you really don't want them to see in a bad light. And I get it. I, I get it. Got it. I understand it very well. But until Candy ready to take that leap of faith and get into where she's she's fitting in real nicely, she's going to always, you know, be lesser than instead of being all she can be, like in an army. You know what I'm saying? That's me. Now, that ain't me. I ain't, I ain't going up to no... No military strategy. I don't think we should be going to war and losing innocent lives the way we get into other people's business. It's like, do we have? Do we really need to be over there in Ukraine? Do we need to be over there in Ukraine? Is it Ukraine? You're Ukraine, something like that. But anyway, because we got homelessness, we got people starving over him. We got they ain't got no housing. They don't got no medical insurance benefits for mental health. This is a hot basket of negativity and then we going over there to ukraine having folks out we can't even help our folks in, in our own backyard but that's just me a lot of people probably won't agree with me but that's what makes us uh lovely everybody have opinion but uh yeah they was he had a handful i think it was an even discussion in the comment section uh some people were saying you know candy need to chill don't let marlo get to her that way some of uh excuse me, commenting that uh, she does do a lot for the community and this, that, and the third. We won't take it from her. But to expose people who are trying to put salt in your name, it's, you, you need to do that. You need to put yourself out there. Toot your own horn. Honey. Who's going to toot it for you? But you. Who's going to create the narrative that you want to be portrayed on you? You. Not nobody else, girl. Oh, let me see. Let me see. Oh, they, they got Marlo back. One person said, was it Marlo's first episode asking Candy to be a part of her village to help with her nephew? So Candy ain't doing enough, but you want her to do something for you. And that was on point. I understand that very good, very well, okay? And it, like I said, it was more so this, that, and the other. People were saying Candy don't need the housewives. She got money, this, that, and the third. I'm like, honey, if it's just greed, Candy want to make sure she gets her book. Because she already know Todd ain't doing that. Todd ain't doing that. He ain't doing that. Okay? Because if he was doing something, he would have been on the show talking about, I give up a lot of uh, things for you. Uh, I just want this one thing for myself. And all that bullshit. You know what I'm saying? I'm mad. I'm, I'm real man. Don't talk like no shit like that. They go out there and get it like Aaron, uh, Sanya's, hus Sanya's husband. He go out there and make it happen. And if the shit be torn down, he got ways to build it back up. So I, I like that man. I really do. I'm like, say, so don't ever lose that man, okay? He got a good head on his shoulder. He, he know who he is as a man. And he don't rely on nothing on, on you, okay? I, I, I like that. I like that. 
Todd, you need to take some pointers from him. You need to hang. Stop hanging out with Ralph, okay? Because he's just from from with the capital G. Go on over there and have a few drinks with uh uh brother man over there. Aaron. He could probably teach you something, even though he has an old soul and he's younger than you. That's what you mean. The boy got an old soul and he's still doing it, make what do what he do. Okay? But anyway. Yeah, so that I wanted to come back and give uh Candy's take on her side of the interview. I completely forgot about it. And I said it, it would not be right if I didn't show taste uh, Candy getting back in Marlo's ass. You know what I'm saying? Really good. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, that was the rebuttal for Candy side. But I, like I said, and then Candy, she just showed everything in her face. Right? You cannot, don't take Candy and do a crime because she's going she gonna to tell on you. She's going to tell on you, okay? You're going to be thinking you're scot free. Before you know it, when you wake up the next morning, the cops at you know, Because Candy, you know, she, they, they, they broke her down. They broke her down. And she just starts singing like a, a, a canary. All right, but that's all I got, y'all, and I'll see y'all next video. Bye-bye.